And once again, good afternoon from the Qplex in Quispam, Sis, New Brunswick. It is the second game of the 2022 U15 AAA Atlantic Hockey Championships. This afternoon's game featuring Team Nova Scotia from Halifax with the Halifax Rangers taking on the Eastern Express, the representative for Prince Edward Island. Earlier this afternoon, for game one, saw the Dieppe Flyers and the Tricom Thunder out of Newfoundland, Labrador. Newfoundland Labrador coming out with a 5-3 victory over the Flyers. And here is the national anthem. National Anthem out of the way, all set to go and get ready to drop the puck on the opening 20 minutes here in game number two of the afternoon. The Eastern Express in their road blues, the Winnipeg Jets colors. Going left to right, and the Halifax Rangers in the New York Rangers type uniforms in their whites going right to left. Enjoy the game this afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome aboard. Puck just inside the Rangers line. Express control. They'll just backhand it down into Rangers territory. Ben Lindsay plays it around the far side. Over on the near side, Frost, his one-touch pass right away up to Clowater. In over the line, Clowater cuts to the middle, still with it. Clowater has it poked off his stick, bouncing around in front of the Express goal. There's Lindsay. He sends it towards the front of the goal. That shot doesn't get all the way through, and the Express will start back the other way. Austin Walker plays it over onto the near side for Ryan Dwyer. Dwyer trying to play it towards the front of the net, bouncing around it. It'll be the Rangers picking it up. Wenzel, he'll just gain the red line and dump it down into express territory. Clearing attempt broken up there by the Rangers at the line. Big hit along the far wall there by, that was number nine, Thomas McPhee. Marmulak gets it out into the neutral zone. Rangers control. Rangers turn it over, however, here's an opportunity, backhand shot, they score! Thomas McPhee picks up the Easy backhand goal as the Rangers turned it over in their own zone and he went forehand to backhand and it is a one nothing Eastern Express lead. Blackwood will dump it down into Express, ter or Express Territory, Rangers on the attack. Dooley battling down in behind the goal, trying to work his way out in front, being worked over. Dooley still with it, however. Dooley looking, looking, trying to find some options. 
Makes his way up the half wall. Plays it back to the point. Blackwood back to Dooley. Dooley plays it down for Marimaluk. Trying to play it out in front of the goal, and that pass was broken up. Here's Dooley once again. Dooley spinning away from his man, being pestered there by Denome. Once again, Dooley for the Rangers. Out in front of the goal. Howlett trying to work his way out in front. Back to the point. That was broken up. And the Express will get it out as far as the line, but the Rangers do a nice job keeping it right in at the line. Two and a half minutes gone here in the opening period. And it's a 1-0 Express lead. Pass for the neutral zone. The Express on the attack. Malloy chops it down in behind the goal. Ingram plays it up the far side for the Rangers. Can't get it out. Shot goes wide of the Rangers' goal. McGuigan in behind the Rangers' goal. Plays it back to the point for McDonald. McDonald, he'll just play it back in behind the goal. Pop, chopped out in front of the goal. And the Rangers got lucky there. The near side was wide open. But it was broken up. Here's Wenzel now in over the line. Wenzel towards the middle of the ice. There's a pass in front of the goal. And nobody there for the Rangers. Lindsay keeps it back it down in deep. Drew McDonald plays it back over onto the near side in his own zone. Rowan Walsh picks it up. Plays it out in a neutral ice, and Lindsay there for the Rangers will fire it back in. Puck bouncing around down in deep. Rangers trying to keep the pressure down in PEI territory, but unable to. Henry, his pass goes errant in the neutral zone. It'll be Murgan who plays it back inside the line. Back the other way now comes the Rangers. Hines will play it deep into PEI territory. The Express, however, will come up with it, and actually they're unable to get it out of their own zone. The Rangers will chop it back in behind the goal. The Express now will start out through the neutral zone. Ingram, or correction, that was Dwyer, firing it high off the glass. Hollett now for the Rangers, through the neutral zone. Chips it off the wall, going to play a little chip and chase for himself. He gets knocked down. Express play it over onto the near side. Puck bouncing around in the, in the near corner. Express will play it up onto the near side. Hollett will keep it in now for the Rangers. Dooley now down low. Dooley will play it all the way back to the far point. Henry, his shot, or pass over onto the near side, I should say. Singer gets hit harder here on the near side. Puck bouncing around down low. Dooley on top of the puck, trying to play it out in front of the goal. Hollett now down in the far corner. Puck just pinned there right now. Referee trying to tell him to play it. One player just fell down on top of it. It finally comes loose. Singer runs into his man in the high slot area. Puck comes out into the neutral zone, however. Henry, he gets tripped up along the near wall. Express will fire it off the glass. It hits the linesman just outside the line, and it was actually a fortuitous bounce there for the Express. Here's the goal scorer. McPhee for PEI gets knocked down. Rowan Walsh battling down low. Gets the puck there for McLaughlin. McLaughlin loses it, and it'll be picked up on the near side. Pass intended for Wenzel. Bounces down into PEI territory. Nate Clinton plays it around the far side. Pass there from McPhee. Up to Carson McKenzie. McKenzie has it poked off his stick. Play it up onto the near side. Clinton will just chop it into the corner. Rangers will pick it up and play it up onto the near side. Wenzel just plays it off the wall to himself, and the Rangers are away, three of them. Here's an opportunity now for the Rangers. High saucer pass, knocked down. Puck bouncing around in the slot area, and the Express are able to get it down into the corner. There's a shot from the point right on. Nate Beaton grabs onto it. Or excuse me, that's uh, Hudson Bradley will grab onto it and hang on. 13.28 to go now here in the opening period. A 1-0 lead for 
the Eastern Express. Puck bouncing around, it just comes outside the line. Rangers will play it back into Express territory. Wrapped around the far side. Hines will keep it in at the far point. There's a shot, goes off a leg, wide of the goal. Puck in the feet of a couple of players down below the goal line. Out in front into the slot area, and that's knocked away there by Sandy McDonald. The Express will just fire it hard off the glass, or off the boards, I should say, all the way down the ice. And we'll have another stoppage in play. 7.15 gone here in the opening period. Face-off is to the left of the Express goal. There's a shot from the point that just sails wide. Singer on the near side, his shot goes off a stick wide of the goal. McKinnon back to the point. Here's Singer near point. His shot goes off a stick wide of the goal. Referee indicating that it was knocked out of the air with a high stick. And they're going to say the faceoff is going to come out in neutral ice. Twelve twenty-six to go now here in the opening period. Again, a one-nothing Express lead. McQuillan plays it over onto the near side, chopped high off the glass. Through the neutral zone, McGuigan. McGuigan trying to get around his man. That was Josh Henry. He took the puck away from him, and he moves it up the ice. Henry with it. Down in the far corner. Down below the goal line. Henry gets bodied by McGuigan. However, Dooley comes up with it. Chopped off the wall. Henry, the far right point. His wrist shot goes off a stick, comes down. It's picked up there by Nolan McKinnon. McKinnon trying to get it out, and finally the Express will skate it out. It's McGuigan. McGuigan in over the line. Wrist shot right on. Nolan McLaughlin, the goaltender for the Rangers. Nolan McKinnon chops it down into Express territory. Jacob Denome will start out four. The Eastern Express through the neutral zone. His pass for Dwyer. Dwyer has it knocked off his stick. It's Clowater picking it up. He'll play it over onto the far side. And there is a delayed penalty, or excuse me, a whistle here. I do believe it's a delayed offside. And so the play is coming all the way back. And the faceoff will be just in front of the Express bench. I'm going to guess it's a... Uh, Offside call in the pass, the uh, where the pass came from is where they're setting that up. So, face off. The Express on the attack. Here's Dwyer out in front of the goal. That pass broken up. Clowater now through the neutral zone. Leaves it there for Marmaluk. Trying to fire it in front of the goal. That pass was broken up and the Express will start back the other way Austin Walker Walker with it down below the goal line defenseman lost an edge fell down allows Walker to continue with it Walker down into the corner for Dwyer Dwyer feeds it out in front of the goal that was broken up Henry tried to skate it out that allows Dwyer to come up with it once again Dwyer in the slot gets a weak shot off and that deflects just wide of the goal Faustin plays it all the way down the ice. Rangers on the attack now. Clowater all by himself. It's, the rest of the troops are off on a change. Here's Lindsay in the neutral zone. Plays it inside the express line. Lindsay giving chase. He's got Xander Boudelier there with him. Walking towards the front of the goal. And a nice stop there by Bradley. Here's Singer. 
Plays it up for Boudelier, tips it down into the corner. Hines giving chase for the Rangers. That's picked up there by Ostrich. Pass for the middle of the ice and a big hit there in the middle of the ice. And there's a glove pass being called. And so we're another stoppage in play. 9.27 to go now here in the opening period. Again, a 1-0 lead for... The Eastern Express. Rangers play the puck off the glass. Rangers now through the neutral zone. This is Hines. Hines with it, trying to find some options. Still with it, down in the corner. Hines behind the goal, trying to wrap it around. And it ends up under the glove of Hudson Bradley. Here's Lindsay now. He'll play back to the point. Hines, his wrist shot doesn't get all the way through. The Express will pick it up, fire it high off the glass, and get it all the way back down into Rangers territory. Here's Dooley now on the near side. Plays it for Hollett. Hollett in over the line. Battling there with a couple of Express all over him. Play in behind the goal, and it's picked up there by Nate Clinton. Clinton's pass comes all the way down into Rangers territory. Lindsay back to pick it up for the Rangers. Lindsay out of his own zone with some speed through the neutral zone. And over the express line, hits the brakes. Plays it back to the point for Dooley. Had a hard time handling that pass. It bounces off the glass. Here's Clinton now. Tried to play it back. Into the high slot area. The pass was in behind the intended receiver. Lindsay now plays it down into express territory. Dwyer wraps it around the wall onto the near side. Rangers unable to keep it in. Henry will fire back into express territory. Again, a 1-0 lead. A goal, a goal by Thomas McPhee, an unassisted marker at 126. Giving the express a 1-0 lead. 7.20 to go now here in the opening period. Henry will pick it up and fire it back into express territory. Shots on goal just 4-2, to two, favoring the Rangers at this point. Long lead pass, goes all the way down into Rangers territory. Here's Singer on the near side, plays it to Boudelier. He heard the footsteps coming and he just tipped it towards the red line. Long shot in onto goaltender. Nolan McLaughlin, he'll grab onto it, and he'll hang on for another stoppage. 13-02 gone in the first period. Draws one by the Express, but it comes all the way back into their own zone. Drew McDonald plays it over onto the near side. McDonald will get a, excuse me, that's uh Bad Childer, he'll poke it free. McGuigan plays it off the wall out in a neutral ice and Lindsay will play it back into express territory. McDonald plays it up onto the far side. Puck gets chopped up in the air. Lindsay gets hammered down there by McGuigan. Lindsay looking at the referee thinking the hands got up a little high there. Here's Lindsay at the point. Lindsay takes a shot right on. And Hudson Bradley will take that one right in the Express logo. And he'll hang on. Face off coming up to the right. Of the Express goal. And right away, the other way comes 
PEI. Carson McKenzie chips it into the corner. It's wrapped around onto the far side. Nolan McKinnon plays it back into the corner, and it'll be Hollett picking it up now for the Rangers. He'll play it over onto the left wing for Dooley. Dooley trying to get around his man, unable to. And the Express will come up with the puck. They'll play it down deep in their own zone. Good aggressive forecheck there by the Rangers. Back to the point, Ingram. Plays it over onto the near side. Henry walking in, shot right on. And a nice save there, once again by Bradley. Ingram will play it back into Express territory. Knocked down by Ostrich. Pass over onto the near side for Thomas McPhee. McPhee leaves it there once again for Ostrich. Carson McKenzie, his pass into Rangers territory. McPhee giving chase against Faustin. Over on the near side, it's Ingram. He'll play it up the near side. Pass intended for Dooley, broken up there by Clinton. McGuigan will just play it back down below the goal line. Over on the far side, it is Faustin once again. Middle of the ice for Marmalock. Here's a wrist shot that goes off a leg and down into the corner. 4.45 to go now here in the opening frame. one nothing for the Express. Turned over down below the goal line. Rangers control. Wenzel turns it over momentarily, or turns it over, actually, I should say, excuse me. McGuigan will play it into Rangers territory. Ingram wraps it around onto the near side. Boudelier trying to chop it into Express territory. Ingram, he'll fire it in, right in onto Hudson Bradley. He'll leave it there for Drew McDonald, who plays it up the far side. Austin Walker in over the line. Walker trying to get around Henry, and a nice job there by the Rangers defenseman to knock a puck off his stick. Big hit in the neutral zone. Delayed offside here. Drew McDonald. He gets hit there by Lindsay. Boudelier for the Rangers. Plays it into the corner there for Lindsay. Lindsay plays it up the wall. Here's Hines now through the neutral zone in over the express line. Hines got a man going to the net. Hines still with it. Looking for some options. Thought about going back to the point. Hit the brakes and then he overskated the puck and that allows the express to come back the other way. In over the line, there's a shot from Dwyer right on. Big rebound was cleared into the corner. Just over three minutes to play here in the opening period. A 1-0 Express lead. Hollett plays it off the wall and gets it out in a neutral ice. Express tried to dump it back in and fired it into the Rangers bench. And it'll result in a stoppage in play. Three minutes to go here in the first period. Shots on goal are 7-4 favoring the Rangers. After a little discussion, the officials decide to move the face-off back in front of the express bench. And the draw is won there by the Eastern Express. Singer, he'll fire it back into express territory, delayed offside. Express trying to get out of their own zone. McQuillan trying to get it out, unable to. The Rangers actually come up with the puck. Hollett trying to find some options. Thought about going back to the point, didn't go there. It'll come over to this side. The pass is intended for Singer. Singer gets hit. Here's Dooley. Dooley trying to play it down below the goal line, broken up. Dooley comes up with it once again, however. Big hit in the corner. Dooley gets hammered down, slow to get up. Express on the near side are able to get it out into neutral ice. Here's Singer. Singer gets bodied there. Puck bouncing around. Rangers control in their own zone up to Wenzel. Wenzel gets bodied by Walsh. Wenzel in through the middle of the ice. He was one on four and unable to get through. Denome now. He'll play it over onto the near side. Nate Clinton for Brody Malloy. 
Here's McGuigan now in over the line. McGuigan's got a man going to the net. Give and go, and the return pass to McGuigan. The shot went off the heel of his stick, and then he tried to play it back in front of the goal. And Nolan McLaughlin grabbed it with his trapper as he was laying down on his back, trying to make his way back to the near side. 1.25 to go now. Opening period here of game two this afternoon here at the Cuplex in Quispam, Sis, New Brunswick. Off the draw, Rangers control. Henry will just play it off the wall, bounce it all the way down into express territory. And this actually will bounce right in onto Hudson Bradley, the goaltender for the Prince Edward Island Express. And he'll hang on to that one. And we'll have another face off to the left of the PEI goal. Rangers control off the draw. Singer across the top of the right circle. Here's a shot that sails wide of the goal. Singer pinches down in deep. Clowater trying to get away from his man. Back to the point now for Henry. Henry, there's a pass into the slot area coming off the stick of Wenzel, and that was broken up. Drew McDonald in over the line. Drops it for McGuigan. McGuigan tried to get a shot off. It rolled off his stick. Still with it, however. McGuigan will just chop it down below the goal line. Malloy now for the Express. Plays it to McGuigan. McGuigan trying to get it through a couple of Rangers defensemen. Unable to. Wentzel will just dump it down into Express territory. 20 seconds to go here in the opening period. Over on the far side, big battle there. Pucks come, comes free. Rangers tried to get a shot off and had it taken away from him. Here's Dwyer. Tries to drop it back there for Murahan. Murahan couldn't do much with it. And with that, that brings to an end the opening 20 minutes here at the Qplex. That has the Eastern Express taking a 1-0 lead to the dressing room after 20 minutes of play. Thomas McPhee with the long goal of the first period at the 126 mark. An unassisted marker with giving the Eastern Express a 1-0 lead. Shots on goal in that first period. 9-5 favoring the Halifax Rangers. The Nova Scotia representatives. But they find themselves down 1-0 after 20 minutes of play. Going to take a quick timeout. When we come back. Second period action from the 2022 U15 AAA Atlantic Hockey Championships here at the Qplex in Quispamsis, New Brunswick.
And welcome back inside the Qplex. Second period action here at the 2022 Atlantic U15 Major Championships. It's the Eastern Express taking on the Nova Scotia Rangers. Eastern Express representing Prince Edward Island. They have themselves a 1-0 lead at the start of this second period. Play down in Express territory. There's a shot that sails wide of the Express goal. There's an opportunity now for the Rangers in behind the goal, trying to find some options out in front of the goal, right through the blue paint, and it'll come all the way back to the point. Faustin, the captain for the Rangers, he'll just play it down into the corner. Chloe Water, back over to the far point. McKinnon with a shot, right on. Bradley with the safe puck, right through the blue paint, and the Express will pick it up and fire it all the way down the ice, and this will make it down four. An icing call, so the Rangers with an opportunity early in this second period. Shots on goal at this stage of the game. 10 to 5, so the Rangers are out shooting the Express, but they find themselves down by one by one nothing mark. Ostrich now plays it back. To his defense partner, McQuinlan. McQuinlan plays it up onto the near side. McLaughlin will play it inside the Rangers line. The Rangers, however, will just chop it right back out. McQuinlan will dump it down into Rangers territory. Rangers now trying to get it out on the far side. A couple of players whacking at it, bouncing around. Express get it into the slot area, however, and knocked off their stick. Rangers will pick it up, fire the puck down the ice, and this is going to result in another icing call with 126 gone, or 136 gone, excuse me, here in period number two. Face off deep in Rangers territory to the left of Nolan McLaughlin, starting goaltender here for the Halifax Rangers. Faustin on the near side. He'll play it around the wall, and this is going to go all the way down the ice, and it's going to be another icing call, so we'll bring the face off all the way back into Rangers territory. So again, one nothing. the Eastern Express leading on a goal by Thomas McPhee at the 126 mark of the first period. The Express, once again, sending it down into the corner. Josh Ingram plays it around the wall. Wenzel on the near side for the Rangers, unable to get it out. It'll be Faustin once again. He'll play, reverse it back for Ingram on the near side, but the Express come up with it. Ingram, however, picks it up, trying to play it off the wall, hit his own winger. Allowed the Express to keep it in momentarily, but the Rangers now come through the neutral zone, and it's Hollett who will play it down into the corner. Denome plays it up the near side. Faustin tried to play it back in deep, but fanned on it, and the, play, the puck comes out in a neutral ice. Lindsay on the far side gets it up to Dooley, and he'll play it down into PEI territory. 2.50 gone here in the second. And over the line, there's a long wrist shot off the stick of Denome, or of Denome, excuse me. Rangers control down in their own zone. Marmalock plays it for Clowater. Clowater shot goes off the end of the stick of the goaltender, Hudson Bradley. Puck down into Rangers territory as Austin Walker takes down his man and he'll be off to the sin bin for two minutes or less with 16.47 to go here in the second period and an opportunity for the Rangers with their first power play of the afternoon. Face off is to the left of Hudson Bradley and it's the Express controlling right off the draw and it was Luke Dooley or 
Correction. Carson McKenzie looking at the wrong sheet there. Who got it all the way down into Rangers territory, killing off 15 seconds. Connor Faustin trying to find some options to get things going. And here comes the Rangers through the neutral zone. They'll dump it in. Puck comes around onto the near side. Drew McDonald can't get it out past Faustin. Faustin walking in, trying to find some options. He'll play it back to the point, to the near point here for Lindsay. Lindsay will get the return pass. Lindsay with the wrist shot, hits his own player on the way through. Cleared out as far as the line. Faustin couldn't knock it down, and it'll go all the way back into Rangers territory. Faustin for Lindsay. Through the neutral zone. Clowater in over the line. Clowater hits the brakes. Plays it back to the near point for Lindsay. Far point now for Hines. Or excuse me, for, uh, yes, for Hines, excuse me. Wasn't able to control that pass, and it goes all the way back down into Nova Scotia territory. Henry, hen, hen mans the puck to Boudelier. Boudelier's pass over onto the near side for Wenzel. Wenzel hits the brakes. Wenzel trying to play it back to the point, broken up by McGuigan momentarily. There's a shot right off the foot of the defenseman in front of the net. Just sailed wide of the goal off the stick of Howell. Hines now on the near side, battling. McGuigan will pick it up, and he'll play it down into Halifax territory. McLaughlin will play it around the wall. McLaughlin, uh, excuse me, that's uh, Hines, almost turned it over. Here's Wenzel. Teams are back at even strength. Wenzel, his shot gets blocked on the way through. Both players go down in the corner. Walsh battling there for the Express, along with McQuillan. However, it's the Rangers that come up with it. Henry at the near point. Over onto the far point for Ingram. Ingram shot, couple of whacks out of pucks loose in the blue paint. Still loose. Rangers trying to find it, and it's cleared away into the corner, and the Express will fire it all the way down the ice. And also go down for an icing call with 5.49 gone here in the second period. It was the best opportunity there for the Rangers just after the power play finished. 13 shots on goal, so they're out shooting the Express 2-1, to one, but have nothing to show for it so far. Off the draw, there's a shot from the point, and Bradley steers out of sight. Another shot from the point, doesn't get all the way through, puck still loose, the Express played into the corner. Maru Mack gets tripped up, no call. McLaughlin will play it out in the neutral ice, and the Rangers will fire it right back into PEI territory. Errant pass goes out in the neutral ice. Ingram gets bodied in front of the PEI bench. Clinton. Turns it over in the neutral zone. Here's Lindsay in over the line. Puck bouncing around in behind the goal. Carson McKenzie picks it up. He'll play it out in a neutral ice. Singer will pick it up there for the Rangers. He'll play it back down into PEI territory. And this is going to go all the way down for an icing call. Of course, the Rangers had to be careful not to play that puck as they were coming off the ice because that would have resulted in a too many men on the ice penalty. 13.03 to go here in period number two of game number two. Earlier this afternoon, Team Newfoundland, Labrador, the Tricom Thunder defeated the Dieppe Flyers representing Team New Brunswick by a score of 5-3. Here's Clearwater. Clearwater gets tripped up. No call. And the Express are back the other way on a two-on-one. Here's Walker. Walker with a shot right on. And it's steered aside there by McLaughlin. There's a pass through the slot area there from McDonald. That goes off a skate. And the Rangers are able to get it out in the neutral ice. Here's Walker once again for the Express. 
Walker gets the red line, tried to fire it off the boards and play a little chip and chase, but he fired it into his own bench. And so that'll result in another stoppage in play. 12.23 to go now here in period number two. Puck just inside the express line. They'll just play it off the wall, trying to get it around past the red line, unable to. Dooley has it poked off his stick. Ingram plays it down into PEI territory. Drew McDonald gets bodied behind the, down below the goal line. Rowan Walsh will pick it up, trying to play it for McGuigan. That was broken up. Here's a shot off the stick of Clark, and that sails high and wide. Malloy will just play it all the way down the ice, and this is going to go back, and this will be an icing call, so the faceoff will come all the way back into PEI territory. Draws controlled there by the Rangers. There's a weak shot, doesn't get all the way through. Puck bouncing around in the slot area, and it was swatted wide of the goal. Dwyer plays it off the glass and down into Rangers territory. Austin Walker picks it up. Walker in front of the goal, and there's a pass that was intended for Murahan, and that was an fanned on the shot. Wenzel. Nice little backhand pass in front of the goal and a nice save there by Hudson Bradley as trying to get the shot off was Rowan, was uh, Casey, uh, Casey Wenzel, excuse me. Here's Boudelier once again. Boudelier in on the backhand, tries to go short side, sends it off the side of the goal. Rangers now with a little bit of pressure. Here's Faustin. Faustin sends a shot through, redirected on the way through. And a nice save there by Bradley. Ryan Dwyer in over the Rangers line, cutting towards the middle. He gets a shot off, and that sails wide of the goal. Dwyer tried to pick up his own rebound, overskated it. That allows the Rangers to come through the neutral zone with some speed. Boudelier's got a man going to the net, plays it across to the other side. There's a shot from Ingram as he was coming off the bench, and he said, sailed that one wide. Walker. In over the line, his shot goes off a foot. Clark. For the Rangers, plays it over onto the near side. Nobody there for the Rangers to pick it up. Clinton tried to play it over onto the near side for Denome, and that was a bad pass because it allows the Rangers to kind of keep the pressure alive a little bit. Denome once again plays it to his defense partner, Nate Clinton. Clinton can't get around Josh Hollett. Hollett with the pressure down low. Here's Clark now for the Rangers. Clark plays it back to the line. There's a wrist shot from Henry, redirected. And I don't think Hudson Bradley seen that shot on the way through. Rangers with some good pressure here. In the second half of this second period, still trailing by a goal. Hines into the slot area for Clark. Pass was on his backhand, couldn't handle it cleanly. There's a shot from the point that goes back towards the front of the goal, way up in the air. Nobody knew where it was for a very slight moment. Clark picked up the rebound. Clark trying to get the shot off, and he fanned on it. Rangers chipping it down back below the goal line. Denome will play it over onto the near side. McLaughlin trying to chop it out. Kept in there by Dooley. Dooley gets around a couple of bodies. Here's Dooley with it on the near wall. He'll play it back to the point. Tried to get it back for Henry, but that was broken up, and the Express will fire it down into Rangers territory, and this is going to go down for an icing call and a little bit of a late hit there after it was all said and done. But I think the referees are going to deem that incidental. Momentum keep taking everything through. 9.59, uh, excuse me, remaining here in period number two. Rangers with some good sustained pressure there the last couple of minutes. Shots on goal, 15 to seven, favoring the Rangers. Batchilder trying to wrap it around the wall. He'll get it back behind the goal. 
and he'll try to come up this side to McGuigan. McGuigan, his pass to the middle of the ice for Walsh. Walsh gets bodied along the far side, but manages to get the puck down in deep. Malloy for McGuigan. McGuigan shot, scores! What a great shot there by Caden McGuigan. With his second of the afternoon. And it's a 2-0 express lead with 8 minutes and 33 seconds to go. In period number 2. In correction, it's uh, actually McGuigan's first goal. My mistake. Brody Malloy picking up the assist at 11.32. At, uh, 11.37, excuse me. 11.27. My math is a little off. My apologies. Rangers starting out. They'll play it up onto the near side. Clearwater could not handle that pass. McDonald now for the Express. We'll just flick it up back towards the line. Rangers will knock it down and keep it in. McDonald, however, will pick it up and play it over to the far side where the Rangers will start out with it in the neutral zone. Faustin up for Clowater. Here's an opportunity for the Rangers. Shot right on and a nice save there by Hudson Bradley. Express chopping it out in the neutral ice. Rangers will pick it off and Rangers will start into the, into the Express zone. And at one minute, the linesman said no, it was good, and then... Decided he was going to call it offside with the extra move being made there at the express line. Seven minutes, 42 seconds to go now here in period number two. So again, Thomas McPhee in the first period and Caden McGuigan in the second period. 2-0. The PEI, the Eastern Express leading the Rangers. In over the line, the Rangers trying to throw it towards the front of the goal. Pass broken up. Express now through the neutral zone. Pass is broken up. The Rangers will play it into Express territory, but chopped right back out in the neutral ice. McQuillan will start out from behind his own goal. Play it up onto the far side. Pass goes over a stick out in the neutral ice. The Rangers will dump it in wide of the Express goal. The Express will try it all over again. And it's, it is a delayed offside. And the faceoff will come all the way back in neutral ice. I thought everyone got back out and tagged up. Thirteen oh two gone. In period number two, again, 2 nothing. PEI leaving, leading. Team Nova Scotia here in game two of the 2022 U15 AAA Major Atlantic Hockey Championships. Dooley trying to skate his way in over the line, but it went in offside, and so have another face off come up just outside of the express line. Express control. Big hit in the corner there as McQuillan was laid out. Hollett. Hollett gets hit from behind and he's down on the ice and still down. Both referees have their hands up. Here's a long shot from Faustin. Right in on to Hudson Bradley. And both referees are going to have a conversation to figure out what they're going to what they're going to call here. It was either going to be a boarding call or a checking from behind call. As Josh Hollett is down in the corner on one knee. Josh Hollett back to his feet, making his way back to the bench.
So waiting to see what comes up on the on the board. On the clock here to see what it's gonna be a double minor. For checking from behind, possibly boarding. I'll have to wait for the official. In any other event, in any event, I should say, the faceoff is in PEI territory. Faustin shot. And this is a tremendous opportunity for the Rangers here to get back on the board. There's a shot right on. Hudson Bradley with the save. Clearwater holding the line. Back to the point now. Marmalock trying to send a pass through. That was broken up. Pass right through the slot area by the Rangers, and it'll go all the way back down into Rangers territory. There's a clearing attempt broken up there by the Rangers. Only momentarily, however, and the Express will pick it up and fire it down the ice. So at this point, from what I hear and understand, Nolan McGuigan is getting two minutes for boarding and two minutes for hooking. So there was a delayed penalty on top of that extra penalty. Here's Faustin in over the line for the Rangers. He'll play it back for Henry. Over onto the far side for Boudelier. Boudelier into the high slot. Shot right on and a nice save there by Hudson Bradley. Ostrich wraps it around the far side, and Dwyer will skate it out. Two on one now. Here's Dwyer in with a shot right on, and a nice save there by Noah McLaughlin. 4.59 to go here in the second period, and 2.26 remaining in the penalties, or the penalty, I should say, to Nolan McQuillan. Shots on goal, 18 to nine, favoring the Rangers. So there's nothing to show so far for the Rangers, even though they're out shooting the Express two to one. Here's Walsh, skating it out of his own zone. Walsh loses it, however, to McKenzie. McKenzie will play it back out in a neutral ice. Henry will fire it right back into PEI territory. Another delayed offside, and that'll allow the Express to get it all the way back down into Ranger territory. Here comes the Rangers now. Here's Henry starting out of his own zone. Over for Boudelier. Boudelier plays it back to Henry. Henry back to Boudelier. Boudelier looking for options. Back to Henry. Henry back to Boudelier. Boudelier pass right through the middle of the slot area. Intended for Wenzel, and that pass was in behind him. Wenzel being pestered there by McKenzie, down low in the corner. Rangers control still. Here's Henry. For Wenzel. Wenzel into the slot. There's a shot from Hines. Doesn't get through. Backhand shot is a weak one as the puck was rolling. Off the stick of Boudelier. As Hollett once again was taken down in front of the goal after the whistle. And no call. 1.23 to go now in the Rangers power play. 3.56 to go in period number two. Rangers control. Backhand shot, weak one. And that's stopped there by Bradley. McDonald trying to pin it against the wall. Rangers come in and knock it free. Pass for Lindsay. Lindsay had to move that one quickly. Rangers with some opportunities down low, and they had it cleared out as far as the line. Puck stayed right in at the line. Clearwater trying to play it back to the far point, and that was broken up there by Dwyer. He was able to get it all the way down the ice. 45 seconds to go here in the power play for the Rangers. Faustin. 
Faustin gets bodied. Still controlling the puck. Faustin plays it for Lindsay. Lindsay trying to work his way towards the front of the goal. Bouncing puck right in front of the goal. And once again, Bradley with the, with the save. Here's Faustin. Over onto the near side for Lindsay. There's a long shot from the point. Doesn't get all the way through. Bradley thought he had it in his glove. That'll allow the Express to fire it all the way down the ice. And that'll bring to an end pretty much the power play for the Rangers. Two and a half minutes to go as the teams are back to five aside. Express playing it all the way down the ice, and this is going to be an icing call. Face-off will be to the right of the Express goal. Don't forget, coming up later on today, the opening ceremonies game at 7.30 this evening. Rangers down along the far side. Pass intended for Dooley off a stick, kept in at the line. Hollett trying to get away from his man, has control of the puck. Hollett back to the point for Henry. Henry over onto the far side. Pass was a little bit of a hot pass intended there for Aiden, uh, excuse me, for Jacob Singer. Singer couldn't handle that. Rangers keeping it down in deep. Dooley protecting the puck along the wall. Dooley once again gets bodied. Hollett comes in for some support. Dooley still with it. His shot gets redirected on the way through, and once again, Bradley with the save. Singer pinching it down deep and wasn't able to keep it in, and it's a two-on-one the other way. Here's McGuigan with a shot, and that goes right into the glove of Nolan McLaughlin, and he'll snag onto that one and hang on. 1.32 to go here now in period number two. Again, the Express with a 2-0 lead. Goals coming from Thomas McPhee back in the first period and Caden McGuigan with us just going to Brody Malloy was the other goal here in this second period. Draw one there by the Express. Along the far wall. Here on the near side, McPhee, he'll send a wrist shot in. That's steered aside there by McLaughlin. Big hit in the corner. Josh Ingram. Can't get it out. Ingram will try again. Pass comes back to the point, but that was broken up by the Rangers, and it's a one on, two on one shaping up here the other way. In over the line, Clark. Clark sends it towards the front of the goal. That was intended for Hines. The pass ended up behind him. We're under a minute to go. Hines with it. Hines down low. Plays it back to the far point. There's a wrist shot that gets all the way through once again, and Bradley holding his ground and hanging on with 47.8 seconds to go here in period number two. Off the draw, it's controlled there by the Express, played back behind their own goal. Walker trying to skate it out of, the, out of his own zone, does so. Walker in over the line, driving wide. Walker still with it out towards the slot area, and that was broken up. Rangers play it back into the corner. Nobody there for the Rangers, and now finally someone's there to pick it up, and that's Ben Lindsay. Plays it down into express territory. 15 seconds to go now in period number two. Puck just gets chopped inside the Rangers line. Here's an opportunity for the Rangers, a wide shot, a shot wide of the goal, excuse me. As there's another one from the point, doesn't get all the way through, the buzzer sounds. And right at the end of the period, Aiden Clowater is down on the ice there for the Rangers. 
And he's getting up very gingerly. And it looks like he's making his way back to the dressing room on his own power. So that being said, shots on goal after two periods of play, 26 to 12, favoring the Rangers. But the score is 2-0. The Eastern Express leading the Halifax Rangers, Team PEI, ahead of Team Nova Scotia. Second period in the books. We come back for third period action in about 15 minutes or so. Come back, we'll have a look at the summary of the game so far and get ready to get back to third period action in just a few moments. You're listening to the 2022 Atlantic Hockey Championships, the U15 AAA Major from the Cuplex in Quispam, Sis, New Brunswick on AOTV.
And welcome back inside the Qplex in Quispamsis, New Brunswick. It is the 2022 U15 AAA Atlantic Hockey Championships. I'm your host, Jeff Robichaud. And uh, just at the end of the second period, there was a, uh, a four-minute spearing penalty that was handed out to Drew McDonald of uh, the Express. And so the Rangers, uh, yet again, with another four-minute power play opportunity here to get themselves on the scoreboard. Shots on goal at the start of this third period, 26-12, to 12, favoring the Rangers. So they've got the advantage in the shot on goal department. They just have nothing to show for it here so far. Rangers on the attack, trying to keep it in, and they do. Here's Clearwater into the high slot. Clark can't get the shot away. Rangers now back to Faustin. Faustin down low. Clark, his pass into the slot area, and that was in the feet of Clowater. Clark with it down low. He leaves it for Clowater. For Dooley. Dooley in the high slot. His shot right on. Excuse me, that's uh, Lindsay with the shot right on. And so that ends up right into the glove of Hudson Bradley. 1901. Remaining here in period three. Again, a 2 0 Express lead. Goals from Thomas McPhee and Caden McGuigan. And here's an opportunity now for the Express shot right on as Ryan Dwyer came down short handed and managed to get another. Short-handed opportunity, shot on goal, but Nolan McLaughlin with the save. Face-off is to the right of the Rangers' goal. Express will just chop it in behind the Rangers' goal. Coming on over into the near side is Dwyer once again, and it's actually Hines who will pick it up for Team Nova Scotia. Here's Hines now skating it out of his own zone. Pass over on the right side for Boudelier. Boudelier dropped it back to the point. That pass was in behind everyone. The Express will pick it up and fire it down the ice. Here's Wenzel now picking up the pass from McLaughlin, the goaltender. Wenzel in over the line. Down into the corner. Wenzel gets pushed off the puck. It'll come loose now. Here's Hines down low for Wenzel, back to Hines. Hines back over to Wenzel. Wenzel, pass through the blue paint. Nobody there for the Rangers. Near side, near point. Henry tried to play it back deep and goes off the foot of Dwyer and goes all the way down the ice. Right away, the goaltender McLaughlin plays it up. Puck bouncing around in the neutral zone. Here's Hines in over the line on the left side. He'll hit the brakes. Hines now. Leaves it there at the line for Lindsay. Lindsay, cross the, side, the slot area. Nobody there. Haul it. Got a man. Couple of men going to the net. Here's Lindsay with a shot, and that goes off a leg and wide of the goal. Rangers control. Haul it. Haul it. His shot right on. Save. Once again by Bradley. There's. Down the far side, another one-time shot, and that goes off, a heel, off the heel of the stick and wide. There's an opportunity once again for the Rangers, and another save by Bradley. Wenzel back to the point. Lindsay on the near side, walking in. He fires a shot high and wide. It goes off the glass, and it'll bounce all the way back down into Rangers territory. 40 seconds to go now. In the Rangers' power play, 16 and a half minutes to go here in the third period. The Express with a 2 to nothing lead. Faustin in over the line. Cutting towards the middle. Faustin fires a shot right on. And Hudson Bradley will take that one right in the Express logo. And he'll hang on. the shots on goal. Rangers control. Here's Faustin near point. His shot right on 
Bradley steers that aside easily. It'll be Austin Walker picking it up for the Express. Walker trying to kill off some more time. Rangers pressuring him on the near side. Puck comes towards the middle of the ice and it'll be picked up there by McKenzie. McKenzie will hit the brakes at the Rangers line. He'll play it back towards his own line. Ostridge will pick it up. Team's now back at five aside. So a nice job there by the Express to kill off the four-minute mi uh, double minor and get back to even strength. Walker in over the line, has it poked off his stick. Express, however, continue to control the puck. Nate Clinton, he'll dump it down into Ranger territory. Faustin on the far side, he'll play it back behind himself for Josh Hollett. Little backhand pass there. Puck bouncing around. Here's an opportunity. Walker with a shot right on. And a nice save there by McLaughlin. A couple of bodies go down in the corner. Walker is taking a very undisciplined penalty here. And actually, they're going to call both of them. They're going to call both Connor Faustin and Austin Walker, the two captains of each of these teams. Four-on-four four hockey. Both going off for slashing. And actually, it's going to be five-on-five. Five for the next couple of minutes. Rangers control, here's Singer. His long lead pass goes past everyone all the way down into the express territory. PEI gets it as far as the line. Singer will keep it in for the Rangers. However, he tried to dump it back in deep and he fanned on it. That allows the express to get it down into PEI territory. And actually, this is going to go all the way down for an icing call. So they will bring the face off all the way back into PEI territory. Off the draw. Puck bouncing around towards the slot area. The Rangers trying to fire anything and everything towards the front of the goal. There's a shot right on. A couple of whacks at it in the blue paint. And the Express are able to clear it away. Ingram plays it over onto the far side. There's a shot that gets redirected. They score! And the Halifax Rangers on their 34th shot of the game. Finally get one past Hudson Bradley. They get themselves on the board. It is now two to one. Team PEI leading Team Nova Scotia. The goal coming at the five and a half minute mark. And it was Ethan Hines with assist going to Ben Lindsay. Face off will come back out in a neutral ice. The puck had jumped up over the boards and into the bench. Rangers control. Lindsay plays it on to the near side for Clark. Clark, his pass for Boudelier was in behind him, but Clark following up picks up the puck. Once again, Clark. Clark still with it. Round the goal. Clark looking for some options. Plays it back to the point. Ingram back to Clark. Top of the right circle. His shot right on. And that'll be great. Held on by Hudson Bradley. So again, the Rangers just firing anything and everything towards the express goal. Boudelier will get waved out of the face-off circle. Clark will come in and replace him. Face-off to the left of the express goal. Express will wrap it high around the glass. It'll be kept in at the near point by Lindsay. He'll fire it back around the wall. Clark giving chase on the far side. Hines will pick it up. Hines gets bodied there by McGuigan, but still manages to keep the puck. Hines trying to get the shot off. Gets deflected off his stick by McGuigan. 
Clark falls down. Puck comes loose over on the far side. Clark trying to work his way free. Couldn't get, get the puck towards the front of the goal. It's picked up by the Express off the glass and out in a neutral ice where Lindsay will just dump it right back in to Express territory. 13.20 to go here in period number three. A 2-1 Express lead over the Rangers in game two of the Atlantic Championships. In over the line now. Here's an opportunity, two on one for the Rangers. Shot right on, scores! Casey Wenzel ties the game up with 13.08 to go here in the third period. A couple of shots on goal and finds the back of the net in a couple of opportunities, in a couple of occasions, I should say. And now the Rangers have tied the game up. Back the other way now comes Walker for the Express. Walker in over the line. Plays it out into the slot area. Puck bouncing around in the slot area. The Express unable to find it. Here's Walker. Walker towards the front of the goal. That was broken up. Puck bouncing around. Here's Hollett now for the Rangers. Back the other way now. Rangers with some momentum. Clawwater in over the line. Leaves it there for Wenzel. Wenzel back to the point. Henry with a wrist shot and a blocker save there by Bradley. Here's Walker now. Walker towards the front of the net, an opportunity, shot right on, rebounds there. Walker has it chopped off his stick. There's another shot that sails wide of the goal. So the team's opening things up here a little bit. Puck wrapped around the wall, kept in at the far line. Hines, or excuse me, yes, it is Hines, excuse me. Or, uh, Drew McDonald walking towards the front of the, net, the uh, middle of the ice. McDonald still with it, has it poked off his stick. And that'll slide back into Express territory. So Maddox Marmilak is actually the one who scored the goal. Josh Henry and Aiden Clowater with the assist tying the game up. And that goal coming at the 6.52 mark. Long lead pass intended for Boudelier, broken up. There's a pass through the middle of the ice. Boudelier picks it off. There's a penalty now coming up here to the Express. There's a shot right on as Hudson Bradley will grab onto that and hang on. And so, yet again, another power play opportunity here for the Rangers with a little bit of momentum going their way. In a tied hockey game, it's going to be a tripping call. Declan McLaughlin. Going off. Faustin. Leaves it there, plays it up to the far point. There's a shot from Lindsay, he goes high and wide. Clark picks up the rebound off the glass. Lindsay, back to Faustin. Marmalak, back to Faustin. Faustin's wrist shot right on with lots of traffic in front of the goal. And Hudson Bradley will grab onto that. And hang on. Face off will be to the left of the PEI goal. 10.54 to go here in the third period. Express gets it out into neutral ice. Rangers still with a minute and a half to go on the power play. Puck comes off the glass, and the Rangers are able to keep it in momentarily. However, back the other way now comes McGuigan. McGuigan in over the line, trying to cut towards the middle of the ice. He lost control of it, but he managed to kill off some more time. Here's Lindsay, however, back the other way for the Rangers, in over the line. Lindsay over to the far side. A little pass towards the front of the goal was in the feet of Clark. Wasn't able to handle that. Back to the far left point, to the left point for Lindsay. Here's Marilak. His shot right on. And once again has been the case so far on 34 other occasions this afternoon. 
Hudson Bradley will grab onto that and hang on. Don't forget the opening ceremonies and the opening ceremonies game coming up here a little bit later on on AOTV. Puck drop at 7.30 between Tricom Thunder, the Newfoundland Labrador representatives, and the host Kennebec Cases Valley Kings. Puck gets wrapped around the, the far side, kept in at the line. Only momentarily, however, Hines is one unable to keep it in. And it's back the other way now comes Ryan Dwyer. Dwyer will send it down into the corner, killing off more time. 35 seconds to go now in the Rangers power play. 9.45 remaining here in a tie game at two apiece. Trying to set up for one last rush here. Henry in over the line. He'll wrap it around the wall. Not going to be anybody over here on this side to be able to keep it in, and that'll come back out in a neutral ice, and that'll bring to an end the express penalty, and the teams will be back to five aside. Drew McDonald plays it all the way down the ice, and you'll actually fire it down for an icing call, and so that'll bring... The face-off back into PEI territory with 9.06 to go. Here comes the Express now. They'll just chop it off the wall. Walsh will chip it down in. Here's Walker. Walker trying to get it towards the front of the, the net. And that was broken up. Walker with it again. Sends it out into the slot area. There's a shot that doesn't get through. Walker off the wall. He'll leave it there for Walsh. Walsh loses the puck, and the Rangers will come out of their own zone. Nice little saucer pass to Dooley. Has it swatted off his stick. Faustin. His pass back the other way for Dooley. It goes all the way down the ice. No icing. McQuillan turns it over. Here's Dooley down low for the Rangers. Dooley waiting for the reinforcements. Puck back to the point. There's a wrist shot. Great right on. Rebounds there. And a nice save there by Hudson Bradley. Nice rebound control there by the PEI goaltender. And that is his 37th save of the afternoon. Puck fired back out in a neutral ice. Ingram will fire it right back into PEI territory. Clinton for the Express. Plays it off the wall onto the near side for Denome. Denome trying to find some options. He'll play it through the middle of the ice, and Thomas McPhee plays it back onto the near side. Here's a long shot from McKenzie, and nice save there by Noah McLaughlin. Thomas McPhee opening the scoring for the Express back in the first period. Face-off will be to the left of the Rangers' goal. So the Rangers, although they were down all game, have battled back with two unanswered goals here in the third period in the later stages of this game. Here comes the Rangers in over the line. The puck will roll right in on to Hudson Bradley. And he'll grab onto that and hang on for yet another stoppage in play. Off the draw. It's controlled there by the Rangers. A weak shot goes off a stick and into the near corner. McDonald for PEI plays it up the far side, but the Rangers will come up with it and keep it in momentarily as the Express will chop it just inside the Rangers line, and now it'll roll deep into Rangers territory. Wenzel on the near side, trying to chop it out. Puck bouncing around, and finally it'll come out in a neutral ice. McGuigan there for the Express. 
Plays it on to the near side for Murahan. Wenzel now for the Rangers. will get it out in the neutral ice. Back the other way now. Clowater. He gets bumped off the puck. Ryan Dwyer picks it up, and he'll play it back into Rangers territory. Ingram now down the left side. Has it roll off his stick. McGuigan back to pick it up. The Express play it off the wall. Singer on the near side. Right away to Wenzel. Wenzel chops it down into the corner, and he'll head off. The Express will start up down the right side into the middle of the ice. Here's Walsh. Walsh is in. Drops it there. Malloy overskated the puck, and that allows the Rangers to come back the other way. Here's Dooley through the neutral zone. Dooley cuts towards the middle. Shot right on. And a nice save there by Hudson Bradley. Singer in the neutral zone. He'll play it back towards the line. Knocked down. And the Rangers will just spin and fire it in to the express zone. 5.50 to go here in the third period, all tied up at two. Dooley, puck out in front of the goal, shot! Doesn't get all the way through, it was blocked there by the defenseman. McQuillan, the puck will roll all the way down in onto the Rangers goal on that clearing attempt there from the express. And Nolan McLaughlin elects to hang onto it for a stoppage in play. 42 to 18, the shot's on goal. And there's still 5.38 to go here in the third period. Rangers in the neutral zone. Play it over onto the near side, side excuse me. Clark couldn't handle that, but Ingr Lindsay keeps it in. He'll fire it wide of the goal. Down low, Hines right through the blue paint. Nobody there for... The Rangers, here's Lindsay. He'll fire a shot right up into the Express logo on goaltender Hudson Bradley. And grab onto it and hang on. Face off is to the right of the Express goal. Express will play it back behind the goal. Batchilder will play it out. Through the neutral zone now. Murnahan, he sends a long shot in. And once again, Nolan, Nolan McLaughlin will grab onto that one and hang on. 5.04 to go here in the third. Shots on goal again, 43 to 19. Goaltender Hudson Bradley of the PEI Express is Certainly been busy and certainly been solid. Here's Wenzel on the near side for the Rangers. Tries to play it out and just gets it outside the line. Back the other way now come the Express. Puck gets dumped into Rangers territory. Pass towards the front of the goal and that was broken up there by the Rangers. On the near side, Wenzel had it hop over his stick and it'll come out and they'll start out from their own zone at the express will. McDonald, long lead pass intended for Mur Murnahan, and that goes too far for him, and this actually goes all the way down the ice for an icing call, so we'll bring the face-off back into PEI territory with 4.27 to go here in the third period. Draw one by the Rangers. Shot doesn't get all the way through. That shot coming off the stick of Ingram. Ingram turns it over in the neutral zone, but Singer back there. Singer almost turns it over, oh, and actually he does. There's a shot from the point. Doesn't get all the way through. McGuigan bodies his man. Puck stays in at the point. Shot right on, and once again, McLaughlin with the save. Puck bouncing around, and it's finally picked up there by Boudelier. Boudelier plays it up onto the left wing for Clark. Couldn't handle the pass. Puck comes right back into Rangers territory. Clark 
Picks it up on the far side. Plays it through the middle of the ice. Following up, Boudelier picks it up. Boudelier's got Clark with him in the slaughter. He tried to feed it there. Hines on the near side, however, picks it up, and he has it poked off his stick. Three and a half minutes to go now here in period number three, the 2-2 hockey game. Puck comes all the way back to Singer. Singer got traffic. Shot right on and a nice save there by Bradley. McDonald on the near on the far side, excuse me. Chops it out in a neutral ice. Here's Singer in the neutral zone for the Rangers. Failed, uh, fanned on the dump in. Puck gets fired in behind the express goal. Kept in at the far point. An opportunity now for the Rangers. Puck out into the slot. This Hollett was sitting right there. Couldn't get the pass to him. Back the other way now. Here comes Walker. Walker tried to get around the defenseman, the sprawling Ben Lindsay, and Lindsay was able to knock it off Walker's stick. Walker, however, out in front of the goal. Puck bouncing around. It's picked up there by the Rangers. Four Rangers coming back the other way. Hollett. Plays it to the middle of the ice. Here's an opportunity. Shot. And a nice save there by Bradley coming off the stick of Hines. The Gnome plays it around onto the near side. Walker down deep. He'll play it to the middle of the ice. This is Dwyer through the neutral zone. Dwyer will just play it in wide of the goal. With under, with 120 seconds to go here in period number three, 2-2 hockey game. Here's Walker. Walker plays it in behind the goal. McGuigan there for the Express, trying to play it out in front of the goal. Rangers skate out in front of the goal with the puck, and they manage to control. Faustin loses control of the puck. The Express have it only momentarily to turn it back over to Faustin. Here's Hines. Hines gets bodied there along the far wall and loses control of the puck. Express control now. Wenzel on the forecheck, unable to... Keep it in at the line. It comes out in neutral ice. Minute and a half to go now. As Lindsay, from the wrong side of the red line, dumps it down into express territory, and that results in an icing call, and so a face-off coming up to the left of the Rangers' goal with a minute and 25 seconds to go. Here in the third period, 2-2 hockey game. Rangers control. Faustin plays it all the way down the ice. No icing. Drew McDonald picks it up for the Express. He'll start up down the right side. McDonald gets bodied just at the Rangers line. Faustin plays it around the wall, but it's going to be picked up there by Dwyer. He'll chop it into the corner, but the Rangers will pick it up. Lindsay. As a man way up by the blue line, that pass was knocked down. It's actually knocked down with a high stick. And so we have a stoppage in play with 49.6 seconds to go. Rangers trying to get it into express territory. It's Lindsay with it. He'll just play it into the corner. Puck gets wrapped around the far side. Picked up there by Walker. Through the neutral zone for the express. Walker gets pushed down there by two Rangers players, and it results in an offside call as he got bodied down, and then he went sliding in, and the puck came in after him. Thirty-three point three seconds to go now. McQuillan trying to play it in deep, unable to. The Rangers chop it back out. Here's Hines now back the other way with 20 seconds to go. Hines with a shot right on, and Hudson Bradley with the save. 20.1 seconds to go now. Faceoff will be to his right. 2-2 hockey game. Thomas McPhee and Caden McGuigan scoring for the Express. Ethan Hines and Maddox Marillac for... The Rangers, Hines in behind the goal, 
trying to find some options. Ten seconds to go now. Hines gets pinned against the wall, looking to try and maybe kill some time. Actually comes back to the point. There's a wrist shot right on rebounds there. And once again, Bradley grabs onto it, and he'll hang on. Hudson Bradley making 46 saves so far here this afternoon. So we got a 2-2 overtime period, or er, end of regulation. Both teams are going to get a couple minutes to get their legs underneath of them before starting this sudden death overtime period. So again, quick look at the scoring summary once again. Just a minute, 26 seconds in, Thomas McPhee got, an un got, on got the express on the board. An unassisted marker to make it 1-0. It was 1-0 after 20 minutes of play. Caden McQuigan with assist going to Brody Malloy. That goal coming at the 12-27 mark of the second period made it 2-0 for the PEI Express. In the third period, finally, the representatives from Nova Scotia would get on the scoreboard. Ethan Hines would make it 2-1 with assist going to Ben Lindsay, and that goal coming at the 6.30 mark. And then, once again, the Rangers would tie the game up at the 6.52 mark. It was Maddox Marmillac. Assist going to Joshua Henry and Aiden Clowater. And that was the game tying goal, and that's where we stand as we get set for overtime here at the Qplex. Shots on goal after regulation, 48 to 20, favoring the Rangers. The Rangers in that third period firing 22 biscuits towards Hudson Bradley, the goaltender for the PEI Express who's made 46 saves here this afternoon and his team hoping he'll make a few more big ones. And hopefully they'll pop one home to become the victors in this one after a long, hard-fought battle. And, and to me, at this point, Hudson Bradley would be the player of the game for Team PEI. In my opinion. You know, Caden McGuigan, Brody Malloy, a couple of those players from PEI as well. Ethan Hines has been a big one for the Rangers. Marmilac as well, Josh Henry, Aiden Clowater, they've all had big games, so it'll certainly be interesting to see how the committee decides to go about this. Four on four hockey here in this overtime period. Here's Walker. He'll start out through the neutral zone. Walker in over the line. Can't get around Lindsay. Back the other way now is Clowater for the Rangers. Clowater. Waiting for some reinforcements. Plays it back to Lindsay. Over onto the far side for Henry. Henry towards the front of the goal. And that was steered aside. Back the other way now. Dwyer trying to play it over for Walker. Broken up, but Dwyer will follow her up. He'll pick it up and he'll just skate it back out in a neutral ice. Dwyer in over the line. Dwyer, his wrist shot off the blocker, goaltender McLaughlin. Puck bounces off the glass, and it'll be the Rangers who will pick it up. Here's Wenzel now. Wenzel through the neutral zone. He's got a step, gets hauled down. No call. Puck bounces up into the air. Express will just play it down into Rangers territory. Rangers will slow things down. 3.50 to go now here in overtime. Hines, he'll turn it over into the neutral zone. Express will just play it inside the Rangers line. McGuigan up there looking for it, overskated it. Lindsay, he'll pick it up. He'll play it to the middle of the ice. Here's an opportunity now for Wenzel. His shot goes off a stick and up into the meshing and another stoppage in play. 
331 now to go here in the overtime period. Tied at two between Team Nova Scotia and Team Prince Edward Island here at the U15 Majors 2022 Atlantic Hockey Championships. Singer. Singer tried to play it in deep. He fanned on it, and that allows the Express to come back the other way. Long lead pass was intended there for Walsh. It was too far for him. Faustin now will start out. He's got it in the, through the neutral zone. Faustin in over the line. Down the right side. Faustin trying to throw it towards the front of the goal. Off a stick and ends up down along the far wall. Hollett now battling along against Denome. Faustin will pick it up. Back to the point for Singer. Singer back to Faustin. Faustin walking towards the front of the goal. Shot right on. And another save there by Bradley. Faustin back to the point for Singer. Singer back to Faustin. Faustin fires a shot from a bad angle. Bradley the save. Faustin with it once again. Back to the point for Singer. Singer wrist shot. That seals wide of the goal. The Express just get the puck out in a neutral ice. Faustin on the near side. Pass in the middle of the ice for Hollett. Hollett in over the line. Hollett trying to work his way through. Had stick lifted at the last second. Back the other way now comes McGuigan with 2.15 to go here in overtime. McGuigan trying to get a step, trying to drive the net. Puck bounces around, they score! Caden McGuigan wins it in overtime for the PEI Express. That was one dandy of a hockey game here this afternoon at the Qplex in game number two. Caden McGuigan with his second of the afternoon and the overtime winner at 2.51 of overtime. Player of the game awards now. Certainly, Hudson Bradley has to get some consideration here for the PEI Express. Turning aside 48 shots here this afternoon. Just waiting on the official here coming in from the public address and answer. So Aiden Clowater, the player of the game for the Halifax Rangers. And now the player of the game presentation for Team PEI. And PEI number 16, Jacob Denome, is the player of the game. So a quick look at the overall scoring summary of the game here this afternoon. Thomas McPhee opened the, the scoring at 126. It was the only goal of the first period. It was one nothing PEI. After 20 minutes of play, shots on goal, nine to five, favoring the Rangers in that opening 20 minutes. Caden McGuigan would get his first of two. That goal coming at the 11.27 mark of the second period, and PEI took a two nothing lead to the dressing room. After 40 minutes of play, 17 to seven, were the shots on goal in that second period favoring the Rangers there as well. Then the Rangers would get on the scoreboard six and a half minutes. Into the third period, Ethan Hines with the assist going to Ben Lindsay, and then that would make it two to one. Maddox Marmalak would uh, tie the game up at two. At the 6.52 mark, Joshua Henry and Aiden Clowater with the assist there, and it was 2-2 going into overtime. Shots on goal in that third period, 22-8, favoring the Rangers. 
And finally, in overtime, Caden McGuigan with his second goal of the game, an unassisted marker at 2.51 of overtime, giving the PEI Express the overtime victory. Shots on goal, not overtime. 2-1, to one, favoring the Rangers. Final shots on goal, 50-21, to 21, favoring the Rangers here this afternoon in what turned out to be an, an exciting game. A 3-2 victory for the representatives from Prince Edward Island. So again, our next broadcast, our next game will be coming up a little bit later on, uh, a couple, about an hour or so from now, as it will be the host team, the KV Kings, taking on the Tricom Thunder here at the Qplex in Quispan Sis. And it will be our final game of the afternoon, and the puck drop expected to be around 7.30 this, afternoon, or this evening, I should say, here at the Qplex. So again, thank you for tuning in here this afternoon. We'll talk to you in about an hour's time, a little bit over an hour's time, from the Qplex with our final game of the afternoon here at the 2022 Atlantic Hockey Championships U15 AAA Major Division. I'm Jeff Robichaud. We'll talk to you back here in an hour.